Hey travel lovers, welcome to A Wanderlust for Life. I'm Jessica and I'm gonna show you a very interesting place to visit here in the Czech Republic. And I am working with Czech Tourism and the South Moravian Tourism Board. And basically we're gonna talk wine, we're gonna talk some fun things you didn't even know was gonna happen. I'm gonna show you some amazing views. I cannot wait, let's get into it. While exploring the cute little town of Schnoimo, hopefully I'm saying that right, I mean, it's just gorgeous. We had some rain, which is why I'm all decked out in um, this and probably my hair looks terrible. But like the church, the views, the river, the greenery, like I love the church. Oh, and there's tiny little vineyard right there. It's just like so idyllic and Czech Republic is one of my favorite countries. So I'm really excited to explore more and show you more wine. <laughs> Every town has a secret, and the labyrinths have been a secret in this town for quite a while, but they were discovered by accident um, after World War II, after a bomb fell nearby. Um, they tried to hit the city hall, but they missed, and then they found these 27 kilometers of this stuff. But a lot of it you can't see, some of it's private, some of it's flooded, that kind of thing, but definitely a cool experience. region and it's already awesome. So we are here at La Hopper and they have been growing grapes since about 2003 and they grow most of the like European grapes that you would think of but they also have some of the regional grapes which is what I am most excited to try and you can definitely come here and do a tasting. It's a beautiful location and actually like, looking out it's like very rolling hills like almost Tuscany like. It's quite cool. So um this is definitely like a very cool spot in our first winery of the trip. We have something that is really only seen in Czech Republic and that is Borcha. Basically, it is very young wine and it isn't even really fermented yet. So you can leave it out, but when it first comes out, like right now, I don't know about this one, but we had one in the market, it was like 2% alcohol. And this one, you can see little bubbles, like it's doing its job, but you can keep it around and let it do its thing. But this is really the only thing that you have here. And it's only like a two week period or something like that that you'll see this all around the Czech Republic and especially here in this area around Bruno. And oh, this is so cool, so let's try. So to me, it's like a combination of bubbly grape juice, um, kind of sweet, but not too sweet. I heard it described as like grape cider, which I think is really interesting. But if you're ever in Czech Republic, like in the September time period, definitely get your hands on some of this. Um, we saw it a lot in plastic bottles at a market, so just ask around. Time to choose our own wine at the wine bar. We got the card and we're gonna get some wine. <laughs> Wine machines are great and they're all Czech wines, which is perfect for anybody traveling for wine in a region because that's why you're here, right? So try all you want and then maybe find a vineyard to go visit. And we're gonna be doing more of that too. After running out in the rain and getting some photos, I am trying the Czech ice wine. I'm so excited. It kind of reminds me of like a port wine, like a fortified wine. It's not fortified. And it has like an extra fruity flavor, like not just grapes. They're just, yeah, it just has this very intense flavor, which is what ice wine is. It's basically very concentrated, intense um, wine. So that makes sense. I'm definitely buying a bottle of this. <laughs> The fun continues because we are touring a chateau today. It should be absolutely stunning. We're gonna basically pretend like, yeah, we're rich <laughs> in Czech Republic. So it's gonna be exciting, but then of course there's more wine tasting later because that's what we do.
this room is one of my favorites, so I really wanted to talk to you about it. So it didn't used to be a bedroom, and it's not now, but it was made into a bedroom. I mean, there's first the chandelier. I love it. Then there's pillars that have like closet space in it. In between the pillars, there will be a bed, and it just it's like so beautiful. And there's little tulips on the columns, and then there's like little seating area by the window. It's so perfect. Looking for something more adventurous? Head to Vrnovska Beach where there's something fun for everybody. Let's watch Jessica get out. Oh, it wasn't that hard. You did it. No, I'm gonna give this. I'm not out yet. No. Uh oh, we're attached. <laughs> That's the thing. It's easy until you get stuck in those ropes. Hey. hey. <laughs> Here's a fun one for you. We are here at Terra Technica. We are right on the border to Austria, but still in Czech Republic. And there's a whole complex of things to do here, but we are here at Terra Technica. And basically you walk through time. There's about 950 jukeboxes. And let me tell you, it is way cooler than it even sounded to me. And there's tons of pinball machines, other video games. It is just so cool. It's clean, it's beautiful, it's well-maintained. They're all functional and you can play some of them, not all of them. This is so cool, let me show you around. viewpoint here and um, like if you all have been following me for a while you know that like being in the green looking at the views rivers that is my happy place so I am absolutely thrilled this is so stunning so basically we came up here to look at one of the oldest um, vineyards but also this is part of a national park so you can see the beauty and I really like the idea of combining things. So whether it's food, wine, culture, whatever, like getting out into nature, and it's a really easy hike up here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave all of everything you need to know like down below in the description so that you can come up here too. Uh, but this is absolutely beautiful. Feels like a mini Tuscany going on here with these vineyards and the rolling hills back there. So beautiful. Our last stop is a beautiful wine spot with amazing architecture. It's Taya. So we are gonna have some wine here. This is a newer winery. It's so stunning, like already on the outside here. And these buildings kind of remind me, I've been to Czech Republic before and wine country, and there are these old buildings that are kind of in a hill and they keep their wine there, so like cellars. And these remind me of that. And I think that's probably the point. But uh, I'm ready for my last bit of wine here in Czech Republic. I can't wait to come back and show you more. Let me know down in the comments if you ever even knew that this country had wine. And if you've ever tried it, you definitely have to let me know if you have a favorite, so. But now, wine tasting. We are on the roof and the views are incredible. You can see like churches, there's the rolling hills. This is just so beautiful. And it's, it's a new building, so they're just starting everything. But you have all these plants that are gonna grow up. And then you can see like the wires that they're all gonna kind of cover. So it's kind of gonna be kind of canopy style, you know? But like you can come up here and chill. There's even a little water feature. Like I just, I can't even tell you like how cool this is. Let me show you the other side. up at a winery is always a good idea so that was an epic end to our trip now I really hope to come back to Czech Republic let me know down below if you think we should and what you want us to cover because I would love 
to uh, take your feed back on board. If you like this video, give it a like, subscribe if you aren't already, and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.